Hi everyone, my name is Roman Zaikin and this is the second video about Israeli Mossad Cyber Challenge. In this video, I'll show you the solution for the second challenge. So let's start with this challenge description. Our team has successfully exfiltered the Intel contained in the safe from the previous challenge. The Intel has pointed us to an anti-aircraft weapon deployed by the terrorists in order to shoot down civilian aircraft. While our field teams try to find the weapon, you must work to disable it remotely. And we start with this website. So let's try to start by investigating this website in Barb suit. So we will go here in uh, Firefox and we will use Barb suit, which is actually the best uh, proxy out there. Uh, so we will configure it a little bit. Okay, uh, let's try to refresh this page and I want to configure the scope here. So I want every website that contains this domain and let's just filter the scope everywhere. Okay, perfect. So we will try by crawling this website and here as you can see we found a dev subdomain. So from my experience, when I try to perform penetration testing on a website in every project I do, I always try to use a sublister to find all the subdomains because the main domain usually very safe and the, the company usually invest all the effort to secure the main domain. But sometimes they forget some kind of dev system, some kind of development system, test system, old systems, backup systems, and things like this. And we can find those systems by using sublister. Uh, this challenge was really easy and we even didn't need to use some kind of sublister tools in order to find this subdomain. So let's continue with this subdomain. As you can see here, there is a registration system. I want to register my user Roman. And let's download the certificate. Actually, this system is really interesting. It contains some kind of uh, server and client certificate. The uh, users here have to authenticate by PKS12, which is client certificate, and the backend will identify the user by this certificate. So we created Roman PKS12 certificate, it's a client certificate. And in order to use that, we can import it inside the browser, but we want to use proxy. So we will press here on user options. Press on SSL and just add your client certificate here. We will have to copy the domain, press here, next. And we will import the certificate. It was Roman P12 and the password was something very simple. It's not really relevant. As you can see here, the certificate contains just a CN, which is Roman, and the backend will identify our user by this CN. So let's go back to the main website here. And now as you can see, we are Roman. This is just kind of a, a, a missile system. Here we can see some guns and the weapons. Uh, let's press here on settings. And as you can see here, we need to be the administrator of the system in order to go here. So let's just create an administrative certificate, right? Let's press here, administrator, and let's try to create a certificate. which will not work, right? Otherwise, it would be a really easy challenge. This user already exists. We have to find some way to create our PKS12 and bypass this user already exists error. So in order to do that, I will show you two techniques that I, that I used. The first one, unfortunately, didn't work, but the idea itself was really interesting, and I want to share that with you. So my first idea was to create the duplicated CN parameters. So if you will go here, press F12 and go to developer tool, try to inspect on the submit button, event listeners, click, and let's find which function will be called when we will press on the submit button. You can find this function, which implemented here. This function will call this function. Uh, this function will create our PKS 10 request, which is a CSR, 
it's a certificate sign request and here in the CSR we can see the CN field so we'll try to create two CN fields and then here at the end we will see our CSR and our private key so I will show you my idea here I will create a David certificate and try to register with David this parameter PKS10 now hold the uh, the CN attribute and here at the subject you can see array one I can go and dive in and I will find the parameters but what I want to do I want now to create administrative attribute administrator and now as you can see here at the subject we have array of two which the second one is administrator is the administrator let's press here here you can, as you can see, I can find the CSR itself. Here's the private key. I don't need it. Let's just download the certificate. Ignore this. This is just this add on. Okay. A David certificate. Let's move it to the desktop. Let's call it test1. Let's go here and I want to add this David certificate, which is really interesting. And this time we want to go to the desktop and try to find test1 p12 certificate, same simple password. And let's look at the subject. What I did here, I added this administrator CN before David CN. I thought this would be the solution, which is really quite interesting, right? So if we will go here, now this system to the original website and press on the settings. First, I can see, first, as you can see here, the website can't identify us, by, but if we press here, we are not administrator. What a shame. I thought it will work. But, as you can see here, while we tried this idea, let's go back to the first website, we saw something interesting. Here we can see the CSR and uh, sorry, here you can see the CSR and here you can see the private key. Actually, the backend will sign on every certificate we send to the backend. So we just can send a certificate request with a CA. So we will be able to issue certificate to the system. We can create a chain of trust. This system will grant our certificate the ability to create any certificate we want and then we will be able to create administrative certificate. To do that we will use XCA. It's really interesting and simple tool. It's much better than OpenSSL and it's a GUI application for Windows. And we'll create new database. I solved this challenge twice so I have to create... Let's remove them. Okay, I removed one of them. Save. Just create some password and we have to create a CSR. So new request, CA, apply to fill out the parameters. The most important one is here, the CA true. And let's name our certificate. Let's call it CA, select key. Sorry, let's create some kind of key, some key. Let's press OK and press OK. Nothing special. I want to go back to, uh, to Chrome here and try to create a certificate. I don't want to change anything. I just want here to manipulate the CSR and swap it to my CSR. So, so to copy the CSR, press here, export clipboard. And the private key, let's do the same. Let's put it here. Let's press here, export to clipboard, pen private. Okay. And this is the private key. Uh, let's release and I want my CA certificate. Uh, let's do that twice. Okay, so this certificate now is actually a CA. It's not a regular certificate. Now we can import this certificate in our system. Let's go here and import PKS12 certificate, which is which is a CA certificate. CA it's This certificate is capable to create other certificates. It's a CA certificate. We can double click here and go to the extensions CA true. 
amazing so now just let's click here and create new client certificate apply all fields subject and we want to be administrator uh, yes yeah, select key just some kind of key okay adjust them at time okay so here is our certificate and I want to export that as file pks12 with a chain. Okay, so this is administrative certificate. Let's call it admin because I already have my administrative certificate. Okay, let's give it a password. Okay. So my admin certificate actually contain all the chain and the original website, this one, International Weapon Export, <laughs> this system gave us the authority to issue certificates. So let's add our certificate here. And look here. Now I'm the administrator. Let's see if the system trusts my user. <laughs> As you can see, now I'm the administrator and I can see the admin panel here. From here, the challenge is really easy. We have this uh, server. It was my first try and it succeeded because it's a web server. I just wanted to try to send HTTP request to this server and see what I will receive. Uh, right click inspect double click so here as you can see let's copy that to a simple HTML file here we have our cookie we will use it uh, later but I want to see how the response look like it's look like this and here as you can see we have the settings of the management system so we have to send request here and we have our cookie so let's take this request Uh, this is actually the response so <laughs> let's take the response and we will paste it here same same system uh, we want to change it a little bit we want to send a request to settings http 1.1 all the others and let's send the request And our cookie from here. Oh, I wrote set cookie. Shame on me. Okay. Let's get the, the next request here and we have to turn off the system. We will do that just by, let's see, let's check the code. We have to turn off the system, so we have to submit this button. It just will send a request to the same page with the post request. And we have to take the cookie. So here is the cookie. So we have our cookie here. Post settings HTTP 1.1. And the port is 80. Submit. And we finish the challenge. Really easy one, right? Next. So this is the third one. And you will see the solution in the next video.